Hello guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to tell you the process of construction of retaining wall with stone masonry and the activities involved in it. Also the components of retaining wall. There are different types of stone masonry. Here I am going to tell you about random rubble coarse masonry. First step is layout and excavation up to required level. Second step is compaction. Stones used for construction of retaining wall should be hard. Next step is laying of lean concrete so that surface becomes smooth and level. In random rubble masonry the stones are laid in courses of somewhat equal height by neatly dressing and hammering them in facing sides. And the size of each stone should not be greater than 3 feet in each direction. Use a piece of rope for straight facing. The material used on the face of the stone wall which is exposed to weather is called facing. The material used in back of the wall is known as the backing. The space of the wall between facing and backing is known as hutting. After placing the layer of stone the next step is making of mortar. Mortar should be soft enough to cover the pores remaining stones. Weak holes are made of regularly spaced which allow water to escape from behind the wall. Horizontal and vertical PCC bands are given during the construction of retaining wall for improving its seismic behavior. PCC coping is laid at the top for final surfacing. Please like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel Civil NDS for more informative knowledge.